Every time we do a video with Flywoo, we get really excited about like how these kind of like micro long range drones are performing and we want to keep playing with them. And so, but they only have two, right? They've got the Flywoo Explorer LR and the Flywoo Hex version, but they have a version that is also analog. So this has got their analog video transmitter in it. And then everything else is the same as the HD one that we just did before. This has got the, I think it's the Goku VT600 or something like that is the, the name of the transmitter. However, here is in Indianapolis, it's kind of hard to find places to fly long range, especially when you think about if I'm standing on the ground and I want to fly out like a couple miles, I need to stay at a minimum altitude or a maximum altitude of 400 feet. But at a certain point, the world starts to like, you know, kind of curve because the earth is not flat and it's hard to get enough distance without, you know, running into the fact that I'm like beaming straight through the ground. So we came to a place with a big hill. So we're gonna to climb to the top of that hill there and fly the Explorer LR, probably not super, super far because we don't have a lot of direction in any given direction. And then we're also gonna chase it. Um, I'm gonna have Winston fly this. I'm gonna chase it with my five inch Nurk Edition Bang God, link in the description. And we're gonna have a good time just uh, flying drones and testing out the flywheel. But there's a secret. The Flywheel Explorer Analog Edition, we're gonna give away. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can win your Flywheel Explorer LR Analog Edition. All right, let's get to it. All right, so the only the analog version of the Explorer Hex has been a maiden hover. So we're literally <laughs> first flight, gonna take it out for a good bit of range, see what we experience. With the, uh, with the digital version, I was hitting 19 minutes of flight. So I'm kind of excited to just be able to explore. Like maybe I can kind of, cause like this whole park, we've got like trees and, and paths behind us. We've got paths way out there around like a lake. And then I can actually get some pretty decent distance from up here. Um, and we're here like early in the day. So there's not really anybody around, which is nice. So it should be cool. Let's do it. So we have a naked GoPro on here and we just use the balance lead to be able to connect it to the battery so that we're not like modifying this drone before we give it away to you guys at the end of the video. So stick around. Should they be excited? I mean, I would be, I want it. <laughs> cool, so now it's powered up. Sick. Forgot an SD card. <laughs> and the car's at the bottom of the hill. Frick. So while I'm walking down to the car, I will share with you the specs on the Flywoo Explorer LR. And when I say walk, I mean like falling down this hill. Okay, the Explorer LR has, oh gosh, uh, 1404, 20 something KV. Jeez. Uh, it uses battery, it flies for 19 minutes straight. I'm testing, oh my god. <laughs> um, whew, I'm out of breath now. And so the Explorer LR, this one is configured with the TBS Crossfire, which I mean, in the right conditions gives you like an absurd amount of range. 600 milliwatt VTX, which is plenty to get some good distance. GPS, custom GPS that's already hooked up, set up with uh, like GPS return to home mode. It's got a 16 by 16 custom Goku flight controller with a brand new six in one ESC. So instead of like a four in one, it's got six, which is pretty cool. Oh, I need to work out more. Christmas, man, has done this to me. Yeah, it's got a, an ant, is ant by Caddx or Fox here? I can't remember, but an ant camera, which is a tiny little analog camera with custom long stem flywoo antenna for the VTX. And yeah, should be a pretty beastly machine that I'm really working to give to you guys at the end of the video. Oh, I hate beepers so much, but I'm leaving it installed for whoever wins this. Let's do some flying. Of course, now that I've been running up and down the hill, my goggles are gonna be all foggy. Gotta, gotta button up my transmitter mitt here. Available, link in the description. Gotta make a green version. I do wanna test out the return to home feature for you guys, but not if we're not getting GPS. All right, here we go.
Everything to go all the way around the path. Oh, that's not so bad. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey, I made it. Sort of. I kind of bailed. Look at these schmucks up here. Dude, this thing just doesn't care with that GoPro, with that big battery. Okay, I'm gonna re-aim my body here, and we're gonna go this way. This camera looks pretty nice. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but like, looks good. I'm gonna go run that path along the river, or the lake. I love being up high like this so we can kind of duck down, get really low without worrying about too much uh, signal interference or anything. I'm just like on the deck all the way around the little path. The video's good, it's definitely analog, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not a good distance right now and it's still got pretty good. It's kind of cutting in and out once in a while, but. Just cruising, man. Yeah, it gets pretty foggy. There's a lot of water out here. Alright, punching out. And I'm gonna head out for a little bit of range. Oh, I see that red truck now. Okay, so I'm just aiming for the opposite corner of the uh, fields over here, so like pretty much straight out that way. Um, some power lines out there. There's one not busy road that we're going to cross, but that should be fine. I'll just stop, look both ways before we go. The video's not ideal. Looking both ways, good right, good left, going across the road, over the power lines. Continuing on our merry way. Yeah, I'm not sure why the uh, OSD isn't updating with GPS and stuff. Um, but everything else is working. Like, we got fly minutes, we've got voltage, and we also have mismatched polarity on our antennas. <laughs> this is a left hand polarized on my goggles and the right hand polarized on the drone. Um, which I was not really thinking about mentioning, but I should say that for the, uh, the range issue. But yeah, so we're at the other end of the cornfield. I could probably go further, but I don't want to cross that road. And yeah, so I mean, that's probably close to a mile with mismatched antennas. 99 RSSI, battery's still like pretty much freaking full. Let's see if I can duck down by those uh, like construction equipment out there. Or if I'm gonna lose video. Getting low. Looking good so far. Oh yeah, here we go. Freestyle. Sorta. Of. I'm kinda of being cautious here. Woohoo! Alright, let's get back to the uh path along the river, along the lake. Um, okay, so now we're back on the path along the lake. Just ripping it. Freaking pod racer style. Oop, had a punch there. I had a little bit of a, a loss. Looks like there's some trees between me and the drone. Rip in. It's a nice, like, curvy road, too. Got 
Oh, dude, I'm serious. Oh, man, son. oh no! Dang it. I had an invisible branch. All right, so hopefully we can find it so we can still give it away to you guys. <sighs> Good thing there's a buzzer. Oh yeah, so I'll just turn off my radio and then we'll go find it. I think it was at that last uh, pine tree. Oh, I could have saved it too. Like there was a moment where I saw it like just kind of like free fallen and then I bailed. Luckily it wasn't way over there. I'll be back. So Winston's up there, that's where we're flying from. And I've made it just down to here and I can already hear the beeper over this way. One thing that's pretty cool about that uh, Explorer beeper is that it's got a light on it. So you can see it in the grass. And it's loud enough that I can definitely hear it. So I know exactly where it is, it's right over here. Ugh, naked GoPro, poor guy. Looks good. All right, got it all back in one piece. Thanks to the beeper for helping us find it. Pretty sweet. Now to climb back up the hill. This was a mistake. Getting my workout today. The, uh... oh my gosh, my breath. Got it back, the uh, GoPro fell off, but the beeper was really nice because there's a little light on it. It was laying upside down on the grass so I could see it from like when I got to the edge of the parking lot. It was all the way down by that pine tree. Pretty nice. I mean, I hate beepers. I said that right before we took off and then the beeper is what made me find it. So maybe I need to get over myself. <laughs> so that was kind of like a test of like the full long range. We only went like six or seven minutes, but when I did this with the digital version, we went something like 19, 19 minutes. Uh, we went all the way around this entire park, penetrated through the woods, went out over the water and then shot all the way to the far end of that field, which we'll check it later on Google maps. And it's probably about a mile. I'm not totally sure, but like, I mean, that's good range for something that you can just buy off the shelf, ready to go, got full GPS, return to home, all that good stuff. So what would be really helpful if you want to support the channel, if you are interested in the Hex, both digital and analog version or the quad analog or digital version, uh, definitely use the links in the description below. It's a big help for us to be able to keep making awesome videos like this. But uh, yeah, I really want to chase this around. Uh, and Wisson, you want to fly this? Let's do it. So almost all the time I fly the DJI controller, especially on my DJI drones, that's what I typically use. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, we could bring the Bang God and the Flywoo, and we're good. We got everything we need. But then Winston's up here and he arms the drones. And uh, yeah, so that's annoying. How are we gonna solve that? Do you have quads with you? Okay, so Winston's gotta go get his own quad. <laughs> Whoops.
So yeah, the whole goal of this video is to show you that there's an option for the Flywheel Explorer line that it's not just the DJI Digital FPV system. I know that's not everybody's jam, especially for you guys that are hardcore long range, but if you you know set this up right, you really figure out the way that you wanna fly at long range with analog, like, I think you're gonna have some pretty good success. It flies just as well, obviously, as the as the previous version. We've had a lot of fun chasing it around today, flying it, th like I penetrated all the way through the woods, all the way to the back over there, and really fun. Now, the moment that you guys have all been waiting for is the giveaway. So this whole setup, minus the battery, because shipping batteries is a pain in the butt, is gonna be yours if you are subscribed to this channel and leave a comment down in the description of what, what I want you to say is how you would use the drone. Just like tell me like, oh, I wanna go long ranging. Oh, I need something that's quiet that I can fly in my neighborhood. Oh, I need something to give to my new best friend, whatever. Would be really excited to give this away. If you're in the United States, I'll ship it to you. If you're not in the United States, we're gonna have to talk about uh, the, the, the shipping costs involved there. We will announce the winner on the following week's Thursday vlog. So you gotta have that notification bell turned on so that you can see that you are the one that won. I'll do what I can to reach out to you, but it's on you to pick it. If you don't respond within 24 hours, I'm gonna put it on to the next person and the next person until someone is willing to take this off my hands for free. So I'm really excited to give this away, the Flywoo Explorer Hex Analog Edition. Thanks very much for watching this video, the whole video, and stay flying.